Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. For today's video, I have my Sephora VIB sale uh, haul here. I have quite a bit of products. A lot of these are repurchases, which is a good thing, but also I spent way too much money because that's always how it goes with every sale, I feel like. Um, but before I get started, I did want to apologize for not posting a video for the, about two weeks. I've been a little MIA, um, which in YouTube world, two weeks is like 10 years. Um, but uh, I've just been really extremely busy with school and work, honestly. I've had so many papers and so many presentations in the past like two weeks is insane. Um, so anytime I have not been working, I've been working on research papers or my presentations or all three of them. So I haven't had like no time to film. But uh, I did have some time to place an online order at Sephora as well as go into the, into the store. So um, yeah, I'm going to share with you guys everything that I purchased. Um, and the sale is still going on right now. So let me know if there's anything else I should pick up um, during the sale. Well, actually, by the time you see this video, it probably will not be going on anymore, so never mind. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to get started because I have a lot of stuff to share with you, and, yeah. So, these are repurchases, and it's my Shiseido Facial Cotton. I, this is the best face cotton ever. Um, I know it's expensive, but during the VIB sale, I had to snag it up because it's my favorite and doesn't shed or irritate my eyes, which... I appreciate it. It's nothing worse than a cotton round or cotton ball and it sheds and gets into your eye. That's like the worst pain ever and you have to get it off and it's annoying. So this does not do that for me and I love it so I had to pick up two. I picked up my First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is the 8 ounce uh, bottle here. Mine is literally has one or two uses left so I desperately needed this so I'm really happy that I picked this up. Um, this is my favorite face cleanser. It's the only face cleanser that I have and I just think it's so basic but it doesn't irritate my skin and I don't know I love it and I would highly recommend that. Another first aid beauty product is the facial radiance pads. I cut mine in half so I get 120 um, like uh, facial radiance pads here and um, it lasts me about four months because I use one once a day so it's really nice and I love these and I would you know 100% recommend these to anybody. If you have sensitive skin or acne or you just want like a nice gentle toner exfoliator I would recommend these. Um, I've been using them for over a year now and I love them so much so this is one of my favorite products ever. I picked up my very expensive Drunk Elephant TLC uh, Glycolic Night Serum. This is the 1.69 fluid ounce bottle. This was so expensive but I absolutely love this. I'm on my second bottle right now. Um, this is just amazing. I love... I don't know what it is that I love about this, but anytime that I'm not using this, I notice a difference in my skin. I just love that if you have acne scarring or if you have, you know, oily skin, um, this helps kind of, uh, I guess, take away a little bit of oil on your skin and just minimize the pores and fine lines and it's just basically a, mi a miracle in a bottle and it was so expensive, but I love it and this is the, like, the best time of the year to pick this up for me because... 20% off and buying this is amazing so I cannot live without this and I needed it. I have my Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner here in Trooper. I have it on today. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. I've, I think this is the only liquid eyeliner I've really tried that's high end and, but it's my favorite. I don't want to try any other liquid eyeliner because this is amazing and makes it doing um, my winged eyeliner so easy and I just needed to pick up another one because mine was getting low. This is the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. This is my favorite uh, brush cleaner, uh, sponge cleaner um, to wash your makeup brushes and sponges with. This just gets everything out of my makeup sponges and brushes and I just cannot live without this. Um, the only negative thing about this is that it does go fairly quick in my opinion, but I would highly recommend this. This is, like I said, my favorite um, cleaner to wash my brushes with. 
Okay, so the last repurchase is my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This is so expensive for a body lotion, and I, and I never thought that I would be one of those people that would buy this, but this is my favorite body butter, and the smell of this is incredible. I don't know. This is, like, so amazing, and it's, like, the only body butter that I want to own, so I had to pick this up, and 20% off, I was like, why not? So picked that up love it and i'm trying to savor it because i love it so much so the products are things that i didn't really need but i bought anyways because it was on sale and i know i've been wanting them for a while so yeah so i bought four lip glosses and looking at it now i'm like why did you buy four lip glosses it takes you a while to use them up but whatever i love them one i've been wanting for the longest time and then the other three are like my from my favorite brand so you know how that goes so uh the one that i've been wanting to try is the fenty beauty uh gloss balm um i'm wearing it on my lips right now i love this so much the smell is incredible it's so glossy in the lips it's not sticky i love it uh, it just smells like watermelon or some kind of candy and i love it um the color i thought was kind of a little bit afraid of at first just because I thought it might be too light on me but it's like the perfect color and I love the packaging I just overall love this so much and then the three other lip glosses uh, only ended up being eight dollars a piece and it's my favorite brand of lip gloss and that's the Buxom full-on um lip polishes and they also have the full-on lip creams on sale for ten dollars but then um, during the VIB sale, I bought them, so they only ended up being $8 a piece because I got an, an additional 20% off of the $10 things, which, when can you ever buy box some lip glosses for $8? Seriously, I wanted to buy them all, but, uh, anyways, I only bought three. The three that I bought was, uh, let's see, what are they? I bought Trixie, which is this color right here, kind of a... I don't know on camera it's coming up straight up coral but in real life it's more of a I guess it kind of is coral with a little bit of rose gold shimmer running through it I bought Serena which is kind of like a brown bronze with some like gold shimmer running through it and then the last one I bought was April which is, which is just this like light pink with some shimmer running through it really pretty did I need these three lip glosses no but it's my favorite formula and I bought them anyways next up I bought this hourglass blush in the shade mood exposure I've been wanting this since the last VIB sale in April so it's been quite a long time coming and I am so excited about this uh, it's just the perfect like plum blush it's not too dark so if you have deep skin I don't know how well this is gonna show up on you but if you have like fair to light to um like if you have a light skin tone you're gonna love this um and I would even say if you have a medium skin tone you would love this if you if you have a deep skin tone this might be a little bit ashy on you but I love the hourglass formula Eventually, I would like to purchase all the Hourglass blushes and get rid of all my Benefit blushes because Benefit does test on animals and I love the Hourglass line. I just love what Hourglass stands for and yeah, I would highly recommend the Hourglass blushes. They're expensive but well worth the money in my opinion. And then the last product that I purchased, actually I didn't buy from Sephora. I bought it from Ulta but I did get it 20% off and that's the Cover FX uh, Perfect Highlighting Palette. This is amazing. Um, this is their holiday palette. This was $39, but then I got 20% off. Um, you get six different highlighters here. The quality on these are incredible. Like, every single shade is stunning. Um, I think this would work for a ton of different skin tones. I think if you have light skin tones, you can pull off every single shade, which is kind of incredible. But here's some of the swatches. I just love this palette and I think for the holidays this is perfect you know you have it's a great way to try cover FX um, the highlighters so I definitely wanted to pick that up and the mirror on this is incredible so I just wanted to share that with you guys as well 
So yeah, that's everything that I purchased from the Sephora VIB sale as well as the one thing that I purchased from Ulta. But let me know what you guys purchased from the VIB sale. If there's anything that I should uh, add on to my wish list, I guess, for future references. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to watch and thank you for subscribing and just supporting me in general. I really appreciate you guys so much. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.